Beer is kind of what brings people together. It's always been around and it's always been the one thing that people can get together over. You'll never find someone that comes in here and, and says, I hate beer and leaves feeling the same way. Chris and Matt, the other two owners, started brewing in college. Uh, Chris started in his dorm room sophomore year of college. So 2004, I started off, uh, I was in college, and I kind of got the idea, what if I made a machine that made beer? So I started looking out on the internet. So uh, after his junior year, he was moving from his off-campus house to an apartment, and one day during lacrosse practice, he's like, hey, does anybody have a garage to move my brewery in? Um, and I was like, yeah, I got a garage, we can move it in. Um, so then the rest of his history, he moved his uh, brewery over to our garage, I started brewing with Chris and Matt kind of just got way into it, and then that turned into a nice little homebrew rig we had outside in our little college house. And we kind of started homebrewing on a, almost every single weekend. We just kind of took it from there and decided we got to go big with it. That was it. So we started, we started with a three barrel brewery. Uh, in 2011 we opened. And so we just opened this place in January this past year. So we've been open almost a year here now. And overall we've been open about four and a half years. The thing is, it's about a hundred different miracles that go together to make a really good beer. And the whole thing comes down to finding out why your beer tastes bad. Unless you know where that root cause is, you're just gonna make the mistake again. Started kind of narrowing down parts of our, our process and we started making beers that were, that were clean. Beer is pretty much the culmination of every success you ever have. Think about the last time you did anything and you said, uh, you know, great job, let's go have a, wine, have a glass of wine. Or, you know, you know, hey, that was awesome, let's, let's go share a martini. Every time you do something, it's always, let's have a beer. We believe beer is awesome, let's put it that way. It kind of brings people together, and, you, know, at, you know, people have a beer after a hard day's work or celebrating with friends and things like that. Uh, so we really like that culture beer brings. Uh, we like friendship over beer. We don't have any TVs in our brewery because we like people to talk and we've made some of our best friends just from customers at the brewery and they've made friends amongst themselves as well. So we kind of foster a community where people can come in, talk, enjoy a beer, have a good time and just kind of create great friendships. We're kind of starting to push a bit more marketing wise, we've just picked up a great distributor. Uh, this year in Craft Beer Guild uh, LA, so they're starting to push our beer out there more, especially in the Ventura County area, and just get our name out a bit more. Uh, we make beer for everybody. Uh, we make a beer that fits every single pattern. If you look at our tap list, we've got American beers, we've got English beers, we've got, uh, we usually have an Irish beer on, we have a, we have a bunch of German beers, you know, we have beers from, from Belgium, we've got stuff from all over the place. Got a big tasting room, we do bands, um, food trucks all the time. On our 12 taps, try to keep the beer for everyone. Something light, something dark, something hoppy, something in the middle, something Belgian. We're open up Wednesday through Friday from 4 to 9, Saturday 11 to 8 p.m., Sunday 12 to 5. You know, like I was saying, if you, if you like beer or not, uh, just come in, sit at, the big, at our big uh, family table, uh, say hi to one or two people, and I guarantee you by the end of the day, you're gonna make some new friends and you're gonna have a great time.